Last year I tried my first smartphone for video and call it user error, call it what you want, but it looked terrible. The iPhone 11 Pro and the Samsung Note 10 Plus, if that's even a thing, I forget. It's Note 10 something. And they looked so bad, but admittedly I was shooting in 1080p. And this one looks terrible in 1080p. So I concluded smartphones are terrible for video like it is right now, I bet. That sun is shining right on the lens and I'm red. Is it better like that? I concluded wrong, my friend. We got the Huawei P40 Pro here, and I've been very happy with it. Colors are a little oversaturated, but once you tone it down a notch, you're good to go. But I have demands. We got problems with everything. I got a list. Let's talk about it. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I went to go edit this footage. I was like, why is it so saturated? Like, look at this straight out of camera. This is what it looks like. I don't know why it switched to vivid. It's almost impossible to do it. I, usually it defaults back to the normal color. So I had to, if it looks a little weird today, that's why we desaturated it though. So the following list of demands is for the Huawei P50 Pro, or if any other company wants in on this, just snatch it right up. It doesn't have to be Huawei. I wish it wasn't actually. So the reason I picked this phone, obviously, was it has the biggest sensor of any phone we know right now, except that old Panasonic one that just flopped like a dolphin trying to feed a duck. It was terrible. Nobody liked it. It had a one-inch sensor, but it was like they didn't know what the hell they were doing, like they do in their autofocus system. So Huawei has the biggest sensor, but I don't even use that sensor. That's the... it's too tight. It's like in here, and the colors are strange as hell. Red, yellow, yellow, blue shit. Making my skin weird. So I use this one, and still, this is the biggest, widest angle sensor. That's nice, but we are about to change the world. This is an 18mm lens. It's like a Tony 1.7 or something. What would be nice in the P50, which it's already developed and ready, it's not going to happen. So really, this is for the P60, but nobody's searching for that on the internet. So shut your mom. I demand... A one inch sensor, wide, a little wider than this, and faster lens. I don't care how big it is. This is already tiny compared to any other camera I have. So we're talking 16 mil, 1.4, one inch sensor as your main camera. The ultra wide is the main. You could go 15 or 14 on that. Up to you. The next lens, I've debated this. I was going to say like a 22 mil, also one inch sensor, 1.2 for a slightly more cinematic look. You could do that. My third lens, which should just be the only one. The second one is a telephoto, like 300 mil, smaller sensor because you get easier reach. That's not even what I wrote down. I had completely other plans. We needed an 85 mil in there, little smaller sensor but you get some more tone because it's zoomed in and that's your portrait lens. And then you got the freak 300 mil somehow for birds. It's not long enough. All four cameras have optical stabe plus digital that you can turn off and everything is, all the settings can be tweaked. None of this variable frame rate shit either with this one where my audio goes out of sync because it's 25.6 frames per second, like some random ass frame rate. None of that. And we can change the audio levels. There's an audio thing on the, the biggest feature. It just hit me. Tiny little screen right below that lens thing on the front, just so we can see what's happening. I was gonna say flip the whole mechanism, but it'll break, it'll break. So tiny little frame, frame. Oh, I had it. I should have just left for vloggers. A frame for vloggers, we need it. When it comes to the front facing cam, since the main one, we're gonna stick with the 16, the front facing has to be wider. It's a 14 mil, stabilized and amazing. It's not gonna have any tonne, but it'll be good. This camera is capable of 10 bits, my friend. And we have, I wouldn't say a log, maybe a log, if you could do it, but at least a flat profile and let me adjust. We can adjust things. Saturation, down. Contrast, down. Sharpness, down. Watch this. This is straight out of camera. 
This is what we Huawei thinks we should be seeing. How red does my hat need to be? It's not Christmas. That passed. I just, we can't tweak a damn thing. And all the other profiles are just weird. And most of them don't have Stabe with them. What the hell? I tell you, no camera in the history of the world has ever been designed from scratch for this purpose, for vlogging. Maybe you could argue the DJI Pocket 2, but they half-assed it. Tiny little sensor. It has the tiny sensor look. Come on, grow up. That's vlogging in grade school. You need high school level shit. We need a phone designed for video from scratch, knowing that we need an ultra wide angle that looks kind of nice. It doesn't look like a phone. And then we can zoom if we need it. And everything's good. The audio, speaking of audio, it'd be nice if you had a front facing shotgun type of thing or an attachment, little USB-C, it's flat and it folds back to be unobscurable. That definitely wasn't the word. Little shotgun mic with a wind muff on it. I mean, right now I'm tethered. This mic may not even be working. There's a good chance it's not. The first test I did, it wasn't working for no reason. It could be working now. I don't know. Let's hope. And as a backup plan, someone should have a case that has wind muffs on it and smarter mic placement. Right now, the mic is right by the USB-C thing, so you can't cover that up. And the other one is right by the cameras. You can't, what are you gonna do? So a case with wind muffs, but it's directional. It'll still suck. But give me my shotgun thing and the USB-C lav mic. Now, obviously this camera should have amazing autofocus on all four cameras, dual pixel, borrowed from Sony. Quadruple Sony pixels. When it comes to the slow motion, I also want 24p in there, by the way, and 48p. That was fun. I like that. 60p, no problem. 240 frames per second, zero issues. 480 frames per second in a four second burst. Give me at least four seconds to cross the street, very slowly. I need that. And all the other ones, like 7,000, you don't even have to raise it. Just give me a tiny bit extra time. Just a little bit extra. It's so good that one second is so hard. Actually, don't. I don't deserve it. That's part of the fun, is getting that moment. You have, I, I bet it's less than a second. Something's happening. I just, I love it. Everything's always in focus. You don't have to worry about that. The main thing is just the picture quality. The sensor needs to be bigger. The lens needs to be nice, a nice Zeiss or Leica lens in there. This has Leica lenses, but they're too oversaturated. That's not what Leica had in mind when they lent you their lens. Huawei, you ruined it. You crayons everywhere. As we switch to the larger sensor, the colors freaking, but the beauty that you can see it increased in quality just a little bit, just because the background's a slightly blurrier background but the colors got strange, like in the shade. Where is it? Is my jacket purple now? And now it's red? Like weird things happen. So none of that shit. No RYY sensor. It's an RGB, something, maybe an X-Trans Fuji sensor. Yeah, I went there. So, those are my demands. My god, that was an awkward street crossing. I pressed the crossing bar thing, but I spent too much time getting the slow-mo ready and getting the scooter and then they were like, they weren't stopping. And then they halted and my scooter wouldn't go. That was bad, that was bad. But I need slow motion for moments like that. What lens was I looking at? We're on the main one. So, what do you think? That's about it. If I just had that tiny screen here, 
a little wider, more magical lens, color science that didn't suck. This is almost perfect. So, good job, Huawei. Good job. Just need some better audio that I'm not tethered like a child. We're good to go. How's the other? I'll leave. Thanks for watching and buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos. Stand like.